Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dream Date, the show where one lucky lady gets to choose her perfect date. I'm your host, Richard Darian. Now, let's meet our contestant. She's an English teacher from Chicago, Illinois. She's 25 years old, interested in American history, literature, and the arts. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Elizabeth Campbell. Hello, Elizabeth, and welcome to Dream Date. Hi, Richard. I'm delighted to be here. So tell us, Elizabeth, what qualities do you look for in a guy? I like a guy who is honest and straightforward, someone who is considerate and interested in other people. Is there anything you don't like in a guy? Yes. I don't like when a guy is egotistical, when he talks about himself all the time. That is something that really bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Well, it's time to meet our bachelors. Bachelor number one is a writer and a former college soccer star who loves watching almost any kind of sport. Bachelor number two is the director of educational programs at a science museum. And in his free time, he enjoys reading, running, and camping. Bachelor number three is a model who also studies marketing. He says everyone should recognize him from his latest running shoe ad on billboards and in magazines. Welcome, gentlemen. It's good to have you with us. OK, let's get started. What is your first question? Bachelor number one, if you were with your friends and were late to our first date, what excuse would you give? Well. I'd be too embarrassed to tell you the truth, so I'd probably say I had car trouble or got stuck in traffic or something. Okay. Bachelor number two, same question. Well, it bothers me when people lie, so I would tell you the truth and hope you were generous enough to forgive me. Bachelor number three. Well, I'd probably tell you what I tell everyone else. It's hard to split my time among so many people. Okay. Next question. Bachelor number one. Describe to me your ideal date. Getting together with a bunch of my friends, having a barbecue, and watching sports on TV. Yeah, that'd be a great date. Bachelor number two. I'd take you out for a nice dinner. Let's just relax and enjoy the evening and get to know each other. Bachelor number two. Tell me two things about yourself. One positive and one negative. Well, I think I'm a pretty good friend. Very reliable. Something negative. I'm very direct. And that sometimes upsets people. No, I think that's a good thing. Bachelor number three. Something good and something not so good about yourself. Well, I'm actually a pretty good guy. As for something not so good, I, uh, I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Elizabeth. Final question, and then you're going to have to make your choice. Right. Bachelor number one, finish this sentence. I can't stand it when. I can't stand it when people talk when I'm trying to watch the soccer match on TV. Bachelor number three, finish this sentence. I think it's disgusting when... I think it's disgusting when... when I go to a fancy restaurant and I don't get the service I deserve. Bachelor number two, finish this sentence. It really bothers me when... It really bothers me when... people argue over unimportant things. I just think people should be less temperamental and more relaxed. 
We are out of time. Now, I'm going to ask you to make a choice. I think I'm going to choose bachelor number two. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. All right. <laughs> Well, let's meet this guy. Bachelor number two comes from Chicago, your own hometown. Elizabeth, meet Adam York. Adam York? Betty? <laughs> Betty Campbell? Adam. I knew it. Wait a minute, do you two know each other? We went to high school together. Well, that takes the mystery out of the show. I'm your host, Richard Darian. Thanks for joining us. See you next time on Dreamboat. <laughs>